Mathieu. guests. Same. That's what I love about them. Never complain. They're saying that they might try to bring one of them back. One of these? <laughs> Don't hold your breath. I've been hearing that ever since I've been here. See, the trick ain't freezing them. It's thawing them. So there they sit, all frozen at death, waiting for some miracle cure, all paying that monthly rent. Biggest game in town. See ya. Take her easy. This is Hayes. Get me the supervisor, quick. Emergency. Sir, we've got a malfunction on one of Strickland's cylinders. Number 59. I don't know how long. The alarm didn't go off. It's up, 159. It's too late to put him in the backup unit. He's thawing fast. Midnight. Could you call back in the morning? Oh, oh yes, Mrs. Frank. Just hold on one minute. Reverend Penny. Reverend Penny. Yes. I'm sorry to wake you. There's a call for you in the rectory. It's Mrs. Creighton. She says it's urgent.
What is this? What's going on? Felix, there is going to be a miracle, and I wanted you to be with me. What are you talking about? They're going to give my son back to me. What? Marion. He's been dead for almost ten years. No, Felix. Not dead. Asleep. Excuse me, Mrs. Creighton? Yes? Would you sign this, please? What is it? Consent for surgery? Right here, please. Yes. I don't understand. Consent for whom? Your son. already dead? Then the funeral, the burial, this was all a sham. Yes. Marion, all this time, why didn't you tell someone? Why didn't you tell me? I was afraid. It was such a radical thing to do. I didn't know how people would react or if they'd understand. Felix, Miles is my son. He's my life. Yes? I'm Dr. Colley with the surgeon. Felix Penny, her minister. Where's Dr. Strickland? He's prepping right now. Look, Mrs. Creighton, I don't know exactly what you've been told, but I just wanted to make sure you understand the reality of what we're dealing with here. Look, I just want you to know this is all very theoretical. I have faith, Doctor. God wouldn't have brought us this far to let us down. Just so you know, this is going to be a long night. I've been waiting for 10 years. Felix, I'm going to the chapel. Doctor, is this possible? Can you now restore life? Some seem to think so. What will it be? I don't know, Reverend. Maybe that's a question I should ask you.
fine. Okay. of the life support system. You can't be serious. He's alive. He's functioning, Mrs. Creighton. That's all. Then there is hope. Marion, it was a desperate attempt, and you knew it. There were no guarantees. It was a miracle. You said so yourself. Now you're telling me that we failed? What we have done is extraordinary. More. There is no more. There must be more. Is it a question of money or equipment or... Oh, we're not God, Marion. We can't give him the will to live. So close. It's so close. We must have some more time. Marion, please listen. Listen to me. I want to hold on to him for a little while longer. Even if it's like this.
first. Your turn to give five or seven is Mr. Archer. Me? I did it last night. But he's so... I was just outside. I heard sounds, so I just came in to see what's going on. Dude, would you check the pantry for me, please? Just check the pantry. Hey, it looks like he's awake. Hey. Check his eyes. Do they look normal to you? Yeah, they look all right to me. Excuse 
Congratulations. <laughs> Here, Miles. You remember Mr. Hanna. It's a miracle, Mr. Miles. A miracle. I got a surprise for you. Guess who's still here?
And what exactly is it you do there now? Nothing that I... Well, I, 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 I've been looking out for the family's interests ever since you... Well, you've been gone. Morning, dear. Morning, Mary.
until last quarter's profits, we were up again by almost two points, giving us a total for the year of 5%. Now, including that, with the last nine years' profits, it gives us an overall annual average of 6%. Ladies and gentlemen, that, uh, that's our report, and I think you'll all agree that in these serious economic times, this is very, very good. Miles? I think it's pitiful. What's this? Donation? Contribution? Burns Center County Hospital. Westside Fellowship Church. And let's see. A dozen more. I ask you, how can you justify this? Well, Miles. Mr. Creighton, I'm sure we'd all like to see the company more profitable. And you are? Lee Kenyon. Advertising and PR, Miles. But don't you agree that we also need some sort of serviceable public image? The marketplace is cold blooded, Lee. It doesn't care. I disagree. Most of the large corporations have specific budgets for charitable works. Charity does not increase sales, it's non profit. Mr. Creighton, you've been gone a long time. We've put a lot of effort in this company. We've come up with a plan that we feel is pretty successful. Now, if you have something to add to that, something to improve upon that plan, I am sure we would all like to hear it. Would you know? Efficiency. to take a hard, concise look at everything around here. Whatever I find that isn't working, that's obsolete or useless to me, I intend to eliminate. Do I make myself clear? Mr. Beeson? Mr. Beeson, are you all right? Yes, yes. I'm fine, thank you. You fired you? Of course. Of course, there must be some mistake. Miles would never. Please, I've got to talk to you. You're drunk. Oh, no, 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 no. I've, I've just had a cup of... No, please don't do this. 
Well, if I've done something wrong, please tell me what it is. I'm sure we can straighten it out. Miles, I was your father's best friend. I helped found this company. Miles. Miles, please give me a chance to talk to him. Miles! Oh, please! If you want to run the whole school, fine. I have no problem with that. Miles, Miles, please. Just help me stay till the end of the year. To retire, that's all. Miles, please. For God's sake, let me keep my dignity. Dignity? Is that what you want? Well, come here, let's talk about it. I can. Of course you can. I can! Very well, then. Go, please. I'm coming. Burning up in here. Miles, what is the matter? I tried to reach you all day. Where were you? Busy. Clarence called me. He said that you had fired him. Why? We don't need him. We owe him. For what? For past services. Mother, he was paid. I don't mean that. I'm talking about his loyalty, about his friendship. All right, Father. You tell me. What do you want me to do? I want you to rehire Clarence. I want you to tell him it was all a mistake. Certainly. You mean it? First thing tomorrow. First thing tomorrow. I do you mean it. Oh, good evening, Stacy. Hi. How was the party? Fine, thanks. Stacy. Is anything the matter? Nothing. Just a little strange coming home and not having our dog here. We will really miss him, don't we, Miles? Yes, we do, Stacy.
That's what I heard, Mother. One of the security guards found him early this morning. I'm sorry, too. Hold on a second. Yes? Miss Kenyon. Send her in. Mother, I have to go now. I'll talk to you about it later. My report. I just wanted to tell you how deeply sorry I am about Mr. Beeson. Hmm. So am I. Yeah, I can tell. It's very interesting. I'd like to read it and discuss it with you. All right. to make some changes at the company. Fill in the uh, recent vacancy. You involved, Miss Kendi? <laughs> no, I'm not. Why? I'm looking for someone who can work outside the office. Flexible hours, that sort of thing. What exactly will this job entail? It's a... Uh, new position. It answers only to me. And the pay is quite handsome. This position, will it include stock options? Certainly. Choice of cars? Whatever you want. Better office? I see you're interested. Well, Mr. Creighton. Miles. <laughs> Miles, I... I'd certainly like to discuss it with you further. I have a room in this hotel. Don't play this indignant with me. You sell it just like the rest. It's only your price we haven't established. Oh, yeah? Well, let me tell you what you can do with your job. Roommate 17. Blooded. This goes beyond business. This is pleasure. Pleasure doesn't have to be all public. I 
don't understand this. Miss Kenny? Yes? Uh, I'm Reverend Penny. I'm here on behalf of the West Side Fellowship Church. We have received this pledge card, and I'm afraid there's been some mistake. I'm sure. Well, it's been canceled. There's no mistake. I don't understand. The family has always been so generous. We've come to rely heavily on their gift to run the church. I'm sorry, Reverend. The company's changed its policy. All donations have been terminated. Is this the family's decision? Miles Creighton. All right. I think I'd better speak to him. You're wasting your time. He won't see you. That's why you were sent to me. I'm sorry, Reverend. I... I wish there was something I could do, but... I'm leaving. Good Lord. Who did this to you? Have you called the authorities? No! Please. For God's sake. It's our pledge. Well, there must be some mistake. No mistake. I'm sure there is. I'll talk to Miles. Have you been to the office? No. Why? They're all terrified. Of what? Miles. <laughs> Miles? <laughs> That's ridiculous. You know what he's like. I know what he was like. He's not the same. Felix, it's... It's been ten years. It's a new world he has to adjust. Do you know that he fired Clarence Basie? That was a mistake. There's a young woman in his office who has been beaten up. That is no mistake. Did she say it was Miles? No, she hasn't admitted it. Well, then you have no proof. Marion, she is scared to death. Open your eyes. Felix, why are you doing this? Why are you trying to discredit him? I am not trying to discredit him. I am trying to get you to see what is going on here. It's the money. That's what it is, the money. Marion, you can't believe that. I'm concerned about you. I'm concerned about Stacy. There is something wrong with Miles. There is nothing wrong with him. Everyone has been amazed at his recovery. At first I was concerned. Now I am frightened. I lost my husband and my son. Everything I loved was taken from me. You've never been a parent, Felix. You don't know how terrible it is to outlive your children. But you have Stacy here and now. And Miles. He's my own flesh and blood. I brought him back. I gave him life a second time.
more for you tonight than I have for a whole year. Mm. I'm sorry. Can I help? When a man dies, what happens to his soul? So that's the problem. Oh, I wish you would work on your sermon when we're playing cards. I would hope the spirit would rejoin, or you'd have something cold, unemotional, without conscience, a, a monster. This isn't hypothetical. Smiles tranquil. I'm not sure, but God help us if it's true. Where are you going? Hello. But it's so late.
Reverend Penny. It's been a long time. Who are you? I beg your pardon? I recognize the face. The voice. But you're not Miles Creighton. Of course I am. Ask Marion. Who should know a son better than his own mother? She's blinded by her love. You meddling creature. What do you want? To know who you are. That's not what you want to know. You want to know what's on the other side. Yes. If you are Miles Creighton, and you really have been called back, then yes, you've seen the other side. And you want to know what's there. I'll tell you what's on the other side. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You die and there's simply darkness. Okay. No streets of gold. No harps, no halos, no angels and saints. It's all here. So you better live it up, holy man. Make the most of the here and now, because that's all there is. You're lying. Why would I lie? Tell me, why would I lie? Now you know. I don't care to ever see you again. Not at my house. Not with my mother. Not with any of us. You understand me? Wait. Wait a minute. I believe is true and will always be true. Reverend Penny's room. Yes, it is. I'm sorry, you can't go in there. I'm Marion Creighton. Couldn't I look in now? Just for a moment. Well, you can observe him from here. What happened to him? We don't know. He's been unconscious since they brought him in. Is, is he going to be all right? It's too early to tell you. Uh, I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave now. Oh, please. Oh, I recall. Larry. All right. All right, just one moment. Jeez. How did it happen? Doc. 
What am I looking at? I didn't want to believe it, Miles, but now there's... I've got to do something. Do what? Do what, Mother? Don't, Miles. The police will be looking for you. Police what? Felix Kennedy. That's why I was at the hospital. He's there. And so are the police. Did he tell them what happened? No. He told me. I had to see for myself. Mother. Mother, I know you think I won't come in. I 
love you more than anything in the world. There is a police. Stay here. I'll be back. Felix, is there anything I can get you? Anything at all? You know, there is one thing you could do. You could pray. Yes. Give me the supervisor, quick. 